All right, it is 7.17 in the morning. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray y'all are doing good out there, man, and staying strong in your faith to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is another time I see a lot, and uh, I didn't see it until I started this video, and I looked down to see the time and the date, and uh, it's the 27th. Time's going by quickly, you guys. Uh, the past two mornings, I kept waking up at, earlier and at yesterday and this morning, the time that I woke up and I walked around, because I always look at the clock on the stove, and as soon as I came around the corner, I looked at it, and it was 5.43. And I kind of see it like 5, 4, 3, like a countdown, you know what I mean? That's Because this is what this all feels like to me, like we're in a countdown, 5, 4, 3. And I've... I've seen it before, too, several times, you know, like in the morning. And, uh, yeah, and then to be waking up on a precise moment like that, and then to come out like that, and you see it enough, it almost feels like deja vu, you know? So I went in here this morning, and I looked up on the, uh, uh, on the Greek, and also on Hebrew, Okay. Guys, I don't follow numbers too often, but when I am seeing stuff like this all the time, these times, um, it's very telling for me. You know, there's another time where I, uh, there's this guy, a pastor in a church, and and when I was a kid growing up, like in fifth grade or fourth grade, trying to learn my mathematics, a certain number stuck to me all the time, 49. I, I knew what that was, seven times seven was 49, and it's Chuck Miser or Misler, he's passed away some years back, but uh, he was saying like, in 49 increments, 49 on his video, 49 increments, um, certain names were coming up, every 49 increments, and uh, Boaz, Ruth, King David, you know, showing it like that every 49. And he said, you know, you can't make these things happen. You just can't. And, uh, and then we also know God uses the 40 a lot. 40 days, 40 nights, 40 years. And uh, 7 a lot. And uh, also I see 37. And I see um, uh, 17 in scriptures a lot. Um Around like King David, he was 17 when he was sold as a slave by his brother. See, Jesus was sold too. and But because of the time span, when uh, Joseph was sold, it was like 20 shekels. Then the time later, when Jesus was sold, it was 30 shekels. You know, the price of a slave. And uh, just things like this. But anyhow, let me show you what this is. In, uh, in the Greek... 543 is through their unbelief, okay? For God has concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. That's Romans 11.32, okay? For God has concluded them all in unbelief. Doesn't he say none were righteous, none, and none were, you know, actually believing, but some of us he quickened and he woke some of us up, okay, that he might have mercy upon all. I'm going to share some dreams that I had last night to you guys, and uh, I'm going to get to the one first. Uh, I didn't get on and write this. I figured I'd remember it. I almost forgot it, and uh, so I'm going to get to that one first, and I did write it down again. Uh, Where in time past, Ephesians 2, 2, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Okay, so we have unbelief, we have disobedience, disobedience, and unbelief, okay? So now I'm going to get to uh, Hebrews. Hebrews. Three. Enter. And this one is Amen. Amen. Two times it comes in here. It goes Amen, Amen. And then another one uh, in Deuteronomy. 
Cursed be he that setteth, setteth light by his father or his mother, and all the people say, Amen. Amen, amen. There's another one in here too. Amen, amen. Uh, amen, amen. And amen, amen. 543. I know there's another one. I've seen it in here. Uh, truth of truth. 543. It's amen, amen. And uh, of truth, 543, of truth, and so be it, so be it, 543, so be it. So you guys, yeah, you know, waking up at 5, 43, two days in a row like this, you know, and then seeing amen, amen. Then the dreams, the things that I'm seeing. Um, and I told you how I've been seeing the 42, like 42 months and stuff. Like these things are coming, getting ready to happen. So be it. Amen. You know, it's like things are getting ready to start happening. All right, let me get to the first dream, you guys. And I got some things written down here. I might do this on the live when we come back on the live. Uh, video today um okay the first one you guys that that i had here it was like all right because you guys we know everybody's been allowing that right and me and cynthia we've been talking a lot about it you know and i'm like you know it's a lot i don't want to be causing people to panic fear or what yeah, you know, and the Lord knows this is something that I've been, we've been thinking and talking a lot about. So, boom, here I am having a dream. And I think this is pretty much connecting to it. Um, what I seen was, um, and, it, and it still doesn't really quite answer things, okay? What I seen was, um, it was like a carnival ride. And people that wanted to go on this carnival ride, you had to go through a process before you could go up to go down into this carnival ride. And the carnival ride, what it was, it was a big hole, okay? A big hole and you just jump through it is what it is. But to get to that point where you can jump through it, you had to uh, go through a process. Everybody had to be, you know, you had to have that, okay? But this thing was long and it was crooked. It was a long, crooked-looking needle, very long. I'm talking like eight foot long, like it was a, like an endless needle, and it was very crooked. But people had to get a process. They had to go through that, and then they had to stand in line like a carnival ride. And people were just going like this right here, jumping through that hole, going, woo. And I'm thinking to myself, whoa, you know, I don't know about that, man. And then I seen three people. I think it was like two girls and a guy. Like they were like, you know, leaving fearfully, leaving. Like they didn't want to jump through that. And they left. And then I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, wow, you know, you got to really mentally build yourself up for this. Because I guess when you drop through it, you can't see anything that's going to slow you down or anything, you know. And uh, like it would be just like an endless falling into a pit. Yeah, so for me, what I was feeling was that these people were jumping straight into hell. You know, going straight down to hell and having fun doing it, thinking it was fun. And then they had to do what everybody else had to do to get on that ride. But I'm going to tell you something. I've seen a couple of people get out of the line. Okay? Now, what does that tell me? I don't know. All I know is um, they didn't go through with it okay they didn't go through it then there was a man sitting in the, on the top of that thing like in a chair watching these people jump through and they were just steadily going through man you know and obama's portrait he's sitting in a chair you know and at, from the garden you know and uh a lot of people are going through this man a lot i would say um 
I don't know. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna make any calls on that. I don't know. I just know there was. I seen a couple of people that didn't go through it. Yeah, but for the most part, man, people were going through it by the tons. You know, and like having fun doing it. And I only seen a couple of people that turned around and came back and didn't go through it. Okay, did not, and they actually walked away fearfully. You know, as I say, it's a fearful thing to fall under the hands of the living God. And these people walked away from it fearfully. And it was like a carnival ride, man. And everybody just couldn't wait to go on it. And they were all doing what they had to do, an injection. You know, you had to do it to go on this carnival, this ride. And then you had to leap into an endless pit. You know? All right. Now, this other dream, you guys, it was like football teams, Okay. First, it started off, it was like me, I was there watching or observing it, but it was like King David, the king was there, okay? And uh, then I watched like in Israel, okay? And then I watched all his, his troops getting ready on horseback, getting ready to go out one of the gates, okay? Out of the gates of Israel or something. They were all marching, getting ready to go out. Then they, er, they stopped, and when they all stopped on their horses, um, outside of it, I could see, like, people uh, wearing, like, black and white checkered uniforms. Like, it's a game. Black and white checkers. You know, you guys have seen that logo on stuff. Well, I've seen these people wearing these on their uniforms. And they were, like, practicing, you know. And, uh, and then in the midst of them, I seen, like, U.S. Marine Corps. Like they were the captains of the teams or something. The U.S. Marine Corps. And then there was people at a fence where the fence was all bent up like from the bottom where they could crawl underneath of it. And people were coming out there like taunting them. Ah, ah, taunting them. Then they'd run back under the fence and they came at them. And then they'd walk away. Then they'd come back underneath the fence taunting them. Ah, like, like, uh, like civil unrest or something, you know, like angry and stuff like that. And they were very upset. That's what I was seeing. And then, uh, okay, stopped. Okay. Then I see, all right, the Marine Corps, and then the people crawling under the fence. Uh, all right, now after this, this is when I seen, um, um, I was sitting up there, okay, and I was watching. The king was saying something about, you know, he was waiting to get into the tub or something. And he was waiting for the towels. And then the queen come walking out carrying towels. And she goes, she said, uh, I was uh, I was to be established upon the throne. I was to be established upon the throne, but she wasn't. And it was like she was walking by like in a trance. The queen, you know. Is it the Queen of England or something? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. But they were wearing that royal garb. The way they were dressed, let me tell you something, you guys. I can't make it up because I don't know how they dressed. But the way that they were dressed was like very heavy looking long linens and stuff, you know. Almost like royal clothing, I guess, you know. Very heavy looking. Okay. And, uh. Well, carrying the towels that the king was waiting for. So anyhow, all the horses are backed up there. And there's people out there like scrimmaging in a game. Could that be Armageddon around Israel? I don't know. I really don't know. But that's what I've seen in the dream, okay? All right. Then um, right in the same dream, okay, now Obama was on the roof of the building, okay, he's up on the roof, and he's getting ready to kick off, kick off, like in a football game, but he's up on the roof, rather than down there with the team, he's on the roof, and he's getting ready to kick off, but the kickoff, get this, in the castle, these people had like, uh, apple uh, crumb pie, and uh, lemon crumb pie, or something like that, but they had it all set up there by the windows, so when he kicked off, there was going to be like remnants of gold and silver in it. And that's what they were using this stuff to maybe catch the remnants of the gold and silver. 
Now, I know the Bible says something about he goes after all the gold and silver all over the place and uh, entices the people and stuff like that. You know, the pie, there's something sweet about it and it's, and it's catching all the gold and the silver. It's making it attractive, tasteful or something. I don't know. All right, it was gold and silver, all right, to crumb pies to catch it. Now, all these people, I believe they were English, like England. Yeah, I believe when this all breaks out, because England's much closer to all this, okay? And then I also seen U.S. military there, okay? They were all practicing, and it was Israel was the uh, centerpiece of it, you know? And like I said, they stopped right at the gates as the horses were getting ready to march out the... The troops of the Israel were getting ready to march out. And they stopped when they seen all the armies out there wearing black and white checker uniforms. But there was like they were practicing football games, but in military, old military and new uh, military uniforms and stuff. Like the Marine Corps was wearing the, like the U.S. Marines would today. And then that they were wearing like uniforms, football uniforms, but they were black and white checkers. Okay. Now, when Obama went to go kick it off, the thing was that was weird was, you know, Obama doesn't have loose hair. But in here, I seen it like he had uh, loose hair and the wind was blowing his hair in front of him. You know, in the direction he was kicking off. You know, he was kicking off, but the wind was blowing in the way he was kicking off to where he would get a good kickoff or something. You know, where the ball, whatever he was kicking, it would go. Because he had the wind behind him. And that dream I had where I seen that electrical power coming and then that dog coming out. I believe that's God's given him authorization for 42 months to do his thing, man. You know, in all the kingdoms until they give their power to the beast. And they're all going to be coming together, okay? All right, Obama, after he did this, he almost slid and fell off the roof, but somebody over there caught him. And then they lowered him down towards the ground so he didn't fall and hurt himself. All right, and they lowered him to the ground. And then on the ground down there, there was a little rumbling going on. Like people down there were very upset and not happy, you know. That's all, that's all I can say on that because that's all there was, and I ended up waking up from it, you know. Anyhow, all right, you guys, I'm going to cut this video short, and I'll be doing a live here in just a moment. I'm going to, I got some things that I am going to read, but those were some of the dreams that I had last night. Some of them, not all of them. And I had some other ones, and, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much all night, you know. But like I said, you guys, I think this is getting ready to kick off, and, uh, Yeah, Obama's picture is going to be unveiled here on the 7th of September. Just, you know, be at peace, okay? Well, everything that's going to be happening, God has already done it. It's been preordained. We just have to rest in our beds and, uh, and watch and believe, be in faith. What was that? Uh, the other people, unbelief. See, they're going to be going through what they're going to be going through because of unbelief. And that's there in what we just read at 543, unbelief. And uh, amen, amen. In other words, you know, everything that's coming about, man, just be at peace with it and know that it's God's judgment. It's God's judgment. God has done this from the beginning. And uh, you're going to see things, you know, it's going to be coming on all kinds of people, you know. And remember, Jesus said he won't lose one of his, not one. This has all been preordained from the beginning of time. So when you see things and it doesn't look pleasant, just know this. This is all part of God's plans. You got to let it go and just believe that it's God's will and that's it. You know, because if time's coming, we're not going to be able to go out there and see somebody and give them a food card and try to help them. Because pretty soon there's gonna, it's going to be massive what's going to be happening. And if it comes upon them, doesn't the word say, don't let these days come upon you unaware? Well, there's going to be consequences to that. And many of us were out there trying to be a light, trying to tell people, and nobody believed it. So just trust in the Lord and let it be, okay? God bless you guys. I love you. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.